say goodbye to those bacon jokes. So this just came out. The World Health Organization just published a report on red and processed meat saying that it causes cancer. So I've talked about this before in a response video to a YouTuber saying that meat does not cause cancer, but this report basically puts everything to rest. If you guys don't know who the World Health Organization is, they are one of the biggest authorities for health related issues, hence the World Health Organization. Their report investigated 800 studies and they found that red meat probably is carcinogenic to humans and they mainly looked at colorectal cancer, but the effects were noticed in pancreatic and prostate cancer as well. Now just to give you guys an idea, red meat is in the same group of carcinogens as acrylamides, lead, and UVA radiation. Their report also looked at processed meats and they concluded that they are indeed carcinogenic to humans. They are a group one carcinogen, the highest level that a carcinogen can be. Processed meat is now grouped in the same category of carcinogens, such as arsenic, asbestos, and tobacco. Yeah. They concluded that consuming about 50 grams of processed meats daily increases your risk for colorectal cancer by 18%. That is roughly two slices of bacon. They went later on saying that risk assessments on the balance of the benefits versus the consequences of red and processed meat intake should be conducted to provide the best possible dietary recommendations. But doctors and other health practitioners certainly aren't going to recommend processed meats, are they? Let me tell you, bacon and eggs for breakfast is okay because you've got protein that's gonna fill you up throughout the day. There's nothing better than wake up in the morning and your mom's mm. been cooking some bacon, your hair's yeah. sizzling smell. You ever had bacon popcorn? No, I have no. not. Let me yeah. give it a little whirl. Let me try that. I didn't know bacon there were so many bacon What other, there's, there's bacon things. toothpaste over there. I don't know about that. Bacon, bacon candy, you wanna try oh, it? Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so I'm really happy yet not surprised at all that this report came out, just backs up everything that years and years of research has been saying about red and processed meat. How much longer do we have to wait for another report to come out? Ditch this crap and adopt a whole food plant-based diet. Eat lots of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, legumes. Foods that we know do not cause cancer. Now the question is, Will these trolls continue to leave bacon comments on vegans' videos? Seriously though, let me know what you guys think of this article that just came out from the World Health Organization. You know, it's nothing new to us who have been consuming and recommending a whole food plant-based diet to everyone, basically. And look, I'm not forcing the vegan message down anybody's throat. You know, a couple people are already arguing me over this that, you know, oh, you have to have a balance. Anything in excess causes cancer. Okay. You know, this is the World Health Organization saying this, not me. You guys are the consumer. It is your choice on what you consume and, and what you want to do with your life. I'm just here to show some of this research and share some of my experience. Anyway, give this video a like if you found it useful and subscribe for more videos on the vegan lifestyle and the healthy plant-based eating message. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Very happy to be throwing this away. It's bacon. No, I want my bacon. I gotta tell you something. Bacon is good for me.